What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John William here. Welcome you back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we did... Wow, I put a little too much chapstick on. We figured out the end of the last trial. Unfortunately, we did have to say goodbye to our friend. Alter Ego. Yes. Nobody killed Sakura. Now, you might ask... How might that be? Well, there's only one possible explanation. And I'll leave it at that. But in this episode, Kyoko wanted to show us something. It is 3 a.m. So. It's so late. What happened? Makoto. I have a favor I need to ask you. What's your favor? So. Remember Sakura, what Sakura said at the end of her note? I'm not gonna lay down and d if, and it's I'm not gonna l just lay down and die. I will fight you. I want to find out what she meant by that. Okay, how do you plan on doing that? My Kyoko put her lips next to my ear and whispered. The day is under on the fourth floor. What? Goodbye. I'll meet you there. Without another word, she was gone. What the? Her words reverberated through my half a day's head the data center I thought that it was locked must not be anymore might be a night a nighttime only thing I made my way into the after hour into the after hours school and headed to the data center on the fourth floor eventually I wound up at the data center but when I arrived Kyoko's not here that's where she said she'd meet me. Maybe she's inside already. I put my hands on the door with a certain amount of force. Rattle, rattle. It didn't open. I tried again, but rattle, rattle. It must be locked. What was it Kyoko said? The data center on the fourth floor? What's this? Oh, ho what are you up to, mister? It. Breaking into a locked room is incredibly prohibited, don't you know? Well, um, I just, uh, you're trying to tell me you didn't actually bust in yet, right? But hey! I can see that you yeah, I can see that, you dolt. Don't waste my time telling me crap I can see from my own self. It looked like you might break into any second, so I just thought I'd give you a friendly reminder. Or are you going to try and tell me that you were sleepwalking or something? No, no, it's nothing like that. Yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning for crying out loud, and even I get tired, you know. Stop being weird and go back to bed. What's wrong now? Just a second. Why are you out here making a racket? Kyoko? <laughs> you two? You guys? Whatever, you two. Just get back to bed. I'm positively exhausted after that class trial. It's true. Sure, you got it. Come on, Makoto. Let's head back. What? Hey. Didn't you hear me? We're leaving. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Shall we go? Don't worry about it. Let's just go. Yeah, yeah, go on, get out of here, shoo shoo. So we left and went back to our rooms. And then Goodbye. So goodbye. Hold on. Listen, what was all that about just now? She woke me up, made me go to the data center, which it was what hap just so happened to be locked. And then shows up late and leaves without sing checking a single thing. What was the point of all that? Ooh. Don't worry about it. I figured that would be the end of our conversation, just like always, but... Goodbye. Well, then, good night. Sure, sure. Then that was over. But as I turned to leave... Mukuro Ikusaba. <gasps> what? Kyoko was right next to me once again and whispered it into Mukuro my ear. Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Oh. Oh, it's a female. Oh, we're getting another female to the mix. Ooh. <laughs> it is all pretty much females from here. <laughs> okay. This is Ikasaba. All star apologies. And down to six, but actually seven, because we have a new student coming into town. 
<laughs> she found out. She stuck in. All her lump. At the present. Wow. Heading into chapter five now. Mukuro Ikusaba. What? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Kyoko told me to watch out for her. Mukuru, er, Mukuro Ikusaba. There were three days before the next incident. Three days before we would be faced with another murder. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. What? A hundred mile dash. Pain of junk food junkie. Daily life. With Kyoko. Wait a minute. Three, we, so we have three days. It literally just told us that. In the meantime, the day after Sakura's class trial, the morning has a dining hall. Hmm. So let's begin with the post-trial investigation. Hmm? Hey, you didn't make small talk or anything. We never get straight to the point like that anymore. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, then you must refrain from pointless small talk. Ah. Jeez, how high is this horse of yours? Well, he just acts like that to hide his own insecurities. That's what I think anyway. Hmm. Regardless, if you want to defeat the mastermind, you need to follow my lead. They creep around the school like mouse, but the mastermind's pride is bloated as a cow udder. In the name of no my family. what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Toko, you've been pretty quiet. <laughs> Man, you're so boring now. You just sit there like a mushroom. I'm gonna start calling you Mrs. Mushroom. If anything, you're Mr. Mushroom, but okay. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you? Hmm. <laughs> Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her not to open her mouth without permission. Huh? What? If you, she can't open her mouth, she can't eat or drink water. Hm. I don't care. How about that? And you're okay with that, Toko? Uh, Jeez. How low is your rock? <laughs> your, how low is the rock you're hiding under? <sighs> I believe this small, this is, this is small talk Biakia warned us against. Come on. And yet I let myself get involved. It is now finished. I will never allow you to drag me into that down to the, your level again. Let's go. You are going to head and begin our search. Stop running your mouth and start moving your legs. Pressured by obviously irritated Biakia, we all started our exploration. Okay. Going to chapter five area. Fourth floor, fourth floor. So there was a stairs to the fifth floor, so that's probably where we need to go. Absolutely. So here I am on the fifth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. The fifth floor has opened up to us. And it's totally different from all the floors we've seen up to now. For some reason, it feels unpleasant. Okay, we have... Um, oh, Sakura would have gone crazy over this area. It's literally a dojo. Yoko told me yesterday. What the heck did that mean? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Um, Kyoko, I'm not going to say anything. Huh? I can't say anything. Kyoko narrowed her eyes. Her gaze darted up at the surveillance cameras. Hey. You understand why, right? She was trying to tell me that whatever it is, it was important. The mastermind couldn't find out. But how did Kyoko get her hands on information that could be that important? So then. We're finished here. She made it very clear that our conversation had come to an end. And just like usual, I didn't understand anything until anything any better than before. <laughs> Even though this room is totally enclosed, there's cherry tree planted here, and it's from hey. full bloom. It's quite elegant. This is what you consider elegant? Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this is kind of a Japanese-style scenery. is refreshing. 
but considering our situation, isn't it kind of out of place? A little. Well, I would, I would agree. The target seems pretty far away. Gotta say, pretty proud of my eyesight. It's a straw post used for sword practice. Did they use it for training here too? Even the uh, hey. yeah, same thing. Indeed. Okay, leave the area. Sure, might as well. So there's a cherry blossom place. There's a gardening place, and a science lab. garden. That makes sense that Hero's here, to be honest. Yo. At first, I saw the blue skies, and it turns out they they are just painted walls in the ceiling. Yo. Oh, but the plants are real. It's been a while since I've smelled vegetation. It helps me relax. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize the true horror of plant life? Is there just beneath the surface beneath their calm exterior they're always watching and waiting and when they decide that they can't leave us in charge of earth anymore the they'll pull their plan and of global human extinction into action well i'm serious now that was such a typical hero thing to say it's actually ridiculous okay let's go in here this looks like a scary spot to be like killed looks like a tool shed Ah, uh, that's why it's a scary spot to be killed. This place seems totally disorganized from the lawnmower for, to the fertilizer to the flower pots to the farm tools. And learning ag leaning against the wall, is that a pickaxe? It is a pickaxe. This is a dangerous room. Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this. A pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. There are different kinds of gardening tools here, and they're trying to be trying to get us to become self self sufficient. Probably fertilizer bags. Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There are so many different kinds and colors to choose from. Lawnmower and pots. There's a lawnmower here. Even with this, who's actually going to take care of the lawn? So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers in my room. That'd be cool. Somebody's gonna die in that tool shed. I have a feeling. I have a strange feeling somebody's dying in that tool shed. Yeah, the surveillance camera, I'm not worried about it. But in here, what's in here? It's a chicken coop. What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens. They're starting, they're just regular chickens, right? They don't eat people or lay bombs instead of eggs or something crazy like that. It seems safe. It's a chicken. It's really alive. There's no mistake. They're all just regular chickens. chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love those little guys. They're seriously cute, right? And there's exactly five of them here. Exactly. Mm. Five. You know, the number that comes before, after four and before six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever their number five pops up, that's a good omen. It contains mysteries of the cosmos. A number of right. power, refreshing power on par with a hand-squeezed all-natural lemonade. He never gets... He never lets me get a word in edgewise. I don't think I've seen everything here yet. Oh. Aha. There's some kind of control panel set near the wall. 
Does it control the air conditioning or something? It's a for the sprinklers, silly. Sprinklers. Yeah, I can put the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers go off every morning at 7.30, so don't you dare change it without my permission. <laughs> of course, setting the panel, the settings panel is locked, so you couldn't change it even if you wanted to. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you'll get declined, so watch yourself, or you'll get drenched. So watch yourself. <laughs> But you're not a little kid, right? You're too old to go running through the sprinklers anyway. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm going to tell everyone. I don't think you've seen everything. I swear you have. Ooh. Oh, what is this? It's a super weird, super creepy flower. Or, this thing is a super weird, super creepy flower. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! Uh, what? That's a Monokuma flower. I came up with the name myself. Try and touch it, and you're in for some real excitement. Your heart is like all whoa, and this plant is like snap, and your flesh is all buggish, and I'm dead. And, or, and bluish and dead. In other words, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. As a student of Hope Peak attend or put Hope Peak added improvement after improvement, I created this miracle of creature. The ultimate botanist uh, botanist, although they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Actually. By the way, despite how it looks, that flower is super practical. And it can eat paper, plastic, and even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Wow. Such an yeah. eco-friendly creation is vital for the future and growth of the healthy society. Not that I would know anything about that myself. Spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Now I've seen everything. <sighs> oh, that was a scary garden. Okay. Now to the science lab, the only other place that really has any form of relevance. Oh, nope. I was going the right way. I just have to pass an email. Raw. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. You can't all this way just be denied. The sign in the hall, in the hall is a bio lab. A bio lab that was forbidden from seeing into. It kind of sounds like something old and cheesy, like an old and cheesy horror movie. Okay. I guess we can go into this guy or these guys. Whoa. An eye for an eye. What the hell is this? A grotesque horror of the room struck me hard and fast. We saw what I saw was bad enough, but it smelled. It was sour, pungent, and impossibly rank. I see. It smells awful, doesn't it? It's. <laughs> it must be the least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you've been around a fair share of corpses. Are you saying <laughs> the smell of death? Their flesh and fat and blood. There was no surprise in his voice, no shock at all. But he was right. I had experienced the smell more than once before. It was the smell of death and despair. Hmm. But the smell here is strong, condensed. It is a smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have. Hey, what? My fault again? Uh, stop trying to blame everything on me. If you hadn't done what you did, this never would have happened. No, 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 no. It's quite the opposite. The opposite? Now then. Yep. Let me give you an itty bitty, easy squeezy little hint. It's as far as this room goes. I don't know a thing. It's left exactly how I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How about a hint? Better than those stupid hints, you'll get an NPC. I mean, those old RPGs. Uh -oh. It's pretty crazy scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody and gruesome deaths every day. So it's not I really that big wait. of a deal. But like, keep your shit up and keep on living, soldier. What the heck is he talking about? He has just left away oh, the way he found it. What's the meaning of all this? There's blood all over the place. I want to shut my eyes forever. Such a ghastly sight. It appears all the blood stains are dry, and their color has changed. As well, uh, I think it's safe to assume that it's considerably old. Is that all really blood? 
Of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise. And it is interesting, I assure you, what on earth happened in this classroom? He seems to be enjoying himself. No way he can keep up with something like that. There are white chalk outlines drawn all over the floor. How many bodies were there? I've seen this kind of detective on detective shows and stuff like that. You always seem see it at the scene of a murder. I wish I could say I don't believe it. No, don't leave the area. Although it's giving me the option, so I could theoretically. Uh, Byakia, what about Mon what about what Monokuma told us? It's like I'm not even here. He's lost in thought. He really is thinking that hard, or is he just flat out ignoring me? Okay, we've discovered everything we can. I guess I've seen what I'm up here, or what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I found seems to make any real sense. I need to go back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up. The fact that that says Chapter Five is insane to me. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall, and before too long, hmm. it would appear that everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. Hey. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone else discovered. Hey. My concern with the bio is, is with the bio lab. That was the only place on the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If we were... If this were like a cliche horror game, they would there'd be some kind of creature, the final boss, or tyrant, or but... we're not in a horror game though. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to try worry about it at the moment. The, don't bother thinking about something that we can't understand, no matter how much you think about Naturally. it. Naturally, your tiny brains can only do so much. So focus on utilizing them efficiently. Well, I don't really know how you, you said it, but what you said was probably right. What? How I said it is right too. Biak hey, Biakia. It seems like Toka wants to say something. What? So, what are you telling me? Hey. Well, it's because you told her to zip it or whatever. And I had forgotten about that. <laughs> Jesus, man. I know you're, like, torturing her, but come on. <laughs> well, Toko, if you would like to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> you, you, you honor me, master. <laughs> and don't worry. I can take the odor, odor, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? You're gonna take it? Sh shut up! Don't interrupt me, M Master and me are talking. Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in the classroom on the fifth floor, and so something caught my attention. It was th th this. A knife? Oh! Whoa! That thing is huge! It's like a Rambo size! What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what is it doing in a classroom? Well, How could I need to know? Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What you planning on doing to us? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. I just just picked it up. I didn't want to leave it in the knife just laying around. How about that? I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. <laughs> Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. <laughs> Listen, more important. Now that we have it, the knife, what's gonna happen? What are we gonna do with it? You know, we can't let Toko keep it. That's for sure. We don't know what she might do. What's your problem? I don't w want it anyway. It's too dangerous. <laughs> hmm. What should? What? So, so what to do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take good care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Hold on. I don't get a say. It's all clear now. It shows how much they trust you. You should, uh, or you should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me at this point. <laughs> okay, so, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. Uh, I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. 
Anyway, th that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. Uh, do, do, do I have b bad breath? I'm so, so sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm so sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. <laughs> huh? Huh? Did Master just b -b praise me? <laughs> hey, good for ya. <laughs> I I'm dreaming. I must be, be, be dreaming. Uh, <laughs> that would be. I would not I would ever ex experience such a dream. <gasps> I feel <gasps> this is strange. Oh, so strange. R really strange. Oh no. Ah. <sighs> Whenever I look at Toko this these days, it makes me feel sad. You know? Well, there's a garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant. Monokuma showed us. Um, said that it was called the Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. Serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the ones that live in the pipe, though. Anyways, the thing must benefit from a sprinkler system as much as anything else in there. Oh, yeah, apparently there's sprinklers that come on at 7.30 every morning mm. on the dot. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Mm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on. You don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but it doesn't make me stupid. But if that'll make you happy, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um... What was the question again? Uh, Don't worry, you just answered it. I have to talk to Hero a lot. You know? There was a bunch of chickens in the coop, right? Mm. That's right, five. Five chickens. <laughs> I love chickens. Let's raise them up big and fat so we can make a fried chicken or a barbecue chicken. Decisions, decisions, uh. decisions. Oh, oh, how about raw? Because there's nothing fresher than raw, right? Pretty sure that would kill you. This time, actually, Hero's right and he knows nope. wrong. Well, there's blah blah blah. We already figured that out. The large plant. Okay, the tool shed. You noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe. What? Huh? What about a pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed. And the words crazy diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy Diamond. Um, yeah, that does kind of sound familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know we've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? huh? Where? Ah, uh, that's it. I remember. It was on Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket did, see, say, did the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would he be, that be a pickaxe where there be a pickaxe on the in the garden? Mondo must have snuck it up there and done it right. Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him and the first when he first came and Monokuma confiscated it. For whatever reason, that would or what for whatever reason, that's what stuck out to me in the tool shed, the pickaxe connected to Mondo. Mm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all. Well, then what did? Yo. What? I noticed the lawnmower, and I was thinking maybe we could use it to call for help. Huh? How are you going to call for help with a mo lawn mowing? I don't know. Maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to make crop circles. Well. And we can use those to call for help. Mm. What the heck has even happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know. You know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. Uh. I didn't think it was possible, but the more, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. Facts. Yeah. I checked all the windows up on the fifth floor in front of the door, and there used to be, or and they, that used to be some kind of soccer's job. But mm. anyway, no dice. There were all metal plates and all on all the windows, so just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means there's no chance to escape on the fifth floor either. So, um, but when I look around, I just realize something about the layout of the school. 
What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school, Hina? Just a second. You took a look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? So because if you did, you would have noticed the fifth floor is lacking something every other floor has. Something on the fifth floor that every other floor has? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. So that's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. Well, we're finally starting to get a clearer picture of this school. Hmm. That's all that's left to solve an underlying mystery. But... But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yes, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, I'm not sure. We absolutely will make it out of this no matter what it takes. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, did any of you find it? The strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no. Strange. It's a massive understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood, the white outlines, the countless corpses, the more dreadful than anything I've ever encountered so far. What, what? what the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene, and every body smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna, gonna barf just hearing you describe the room. What? But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words, I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that very room. A bunch of people were killed in there. Stop, seriously, you're gonna make me throw up. Uh, perhaps that's what they meant by the biggest, most, most awful, most tragic event in the human history. Huh? <laughs> you're thinking the same thing then. My theory is the mass murder that took place in the room is an incident said to have happened one year ago. That awful scene in the room? That was the tragedy that happened a year ago? In other words... Precisely, the tragedy is another name for the genocide of a student body of Hope Peak Academy. If that's oh, true, that would explain why Hope Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful! That's right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic hopeless but still how is it not one of us has ever heard about something like this happening does that mean they really did cover it up hmm. well i think that's all the new information we have for now Yo. so what do we do now hmm. well starting today you are under my command but before we proceed i need to figure something out no way jeez how cocky can you be man you're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger I... so what is it you want to figure out hmm. Kyoko's identity. Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes. But who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope Peaks Academy. Hina's the ultimate slimming pro, Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant, and Makoto's even the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... <laughs> but what is Kyoko? Can anybody tell me what she is? Now that you mention it, she never told us. Mm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really have, doesn't like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or doesn't like. It's a matter of trust. Can you trust somebody who is unwilling to reveal their true identity? Yeah. We need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicions. So, Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Huh? What? Well, why won't you tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? What do you mean? So... Because... I honestly don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. You have no memory? You mean... Huh? Amnesia? What? If you thought you had a sense of humor, I'd like to say you're joking, but if it's a joke, I'm not laughing. This is you can't suspicious. be serious right now, C -c can you? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't believe me, which is why I didn't say anything. However, but that doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hm. Nothing so barbaric as that. I will simply limit your options. I will lo can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give, up. give me the key to your room. But if she gives you her room key, huh? she can't go to sleep in her room and she'll be breaking the school regulation. Hmm. 
And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. Just hold on. A threat like that. That's fine. Fine. I understand. Hmm. Good. You're finally in the mood for a little conversation. Without saying a word, Kyoko walked up to right up to Bikira and held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Because whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um, Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um, if you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever. Only the worst of habits, right? Amnesia would fit right in. However, the worst school where only the worst things happen. Do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyoko then turned her back on us and without a word began to walk Come away. On. Where do you think you're going? Goodbye. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words when she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. Not only was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. The heck? Well, what's her deal? But... I think you went too far taking her room key like that. <laughs> for, for, for her, that wasn't uh, far and, and enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her I enjoying getting yelled at. Stop talking. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Come on. Sorry, I just can't hear you. The sound of you breathing is heart breathe. Of uh, breathing of your heart beating. It grates on me. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know you can't. I know how you feel, but. What is Kyoko going to do now? Plus the situation. It's just like before. It's no different from when everyone was started accusing Sakura. And I am no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What the hell? Why are you yelling at us all of a sudden? Cause, I mean... Cuz, cuz, look. It's you. How long have you been standing there? I'm very, very no, I angry! Want... Angry at what? Yeah. At the thief! Yes, that's right! I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief in your midst! Hmm? What? Hey! My precious! They stole it! Your precious? Your teacher had such faith in you! And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? <laughs> Reality filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away from their fantasies. Um... Or run away and into their fantasies. What the heck is your precious? Yeah. Shut up. I hope you all get sick in a hiring freeze and die penniless on the streets. Wow. What the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was that about? So, um... He said someone, something about his precious getting stolen? Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It's likely something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. What else other than her would be willing to make, or willing and able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what is it? And why did she have, why did she do that? Hmm. <clears throat> As such, soon it's okay then. Um... Uh-oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. Hmm. However, what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest taking extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. I don't go wandering around. Well... Not like you needed to tell us that, Goodbye. but... Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Ah, that's right. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. I think the safest place is in the, my desk drawer. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Is there something I can do? Something I can... Unlock the door! No! Unlock the door for Kyoko! Oh, thank God she thought of us. Oh, my God. We could have just kept the door unlocked for her, but we didn't. 
Ugh, I opened my eyes, but realized I hadn't fallen asleep without realizing it. But more important, did I hear the doorbell? Yes, Kyoko needs us right now. But Kyoko's gonna have to wait till the next episode for us to open the door. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!